NFL career ending injuries. This is not going to be a pleasant video. This is not going to be something to laugh about. I'm probably going to be sick. So if you're going to sit here and watch me, go ahead and get some popcorn. Maybe a sick bag. A drink if you want. Sit back. You're not going to be able to relax because this is going to make you cringe. And enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Adam and it is an absolute treat. I'm going to hold my breasts. To welcome you here today to this video. I'm reacting to NFL career ending injuries. I don't know why. Biggie, do you know why? No, you don't because you're a poster. You guys wanted me to do this. So here I am. I'm a puppet in this channel. Remember, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. Before we get into today's video, guys, a quick word from this video's sponsor. Dr. Patchwells is here to save the day to provide you guys with the one thing us as a species have ever wanted. A hangover cure. This patch is filled with the blend of natural, organic, herbal, vitamin and mineral ingredients. Oh! Specifically designed to help replenish your body before you consume alcohol and before that alcohol starts to dehydrate your system. Life is complete. Also, I want to talk about their B12 Power Plus patch, which is designed to give you hours of natural energy without that sugar crash. This patch is also designed to help fight fatigue and low stamina. Other benefits of using this patch can include helping to release antioxidants in the body, it can help reduce anxiety and irritability, and it can help improve mental clarity. This is something you might be interested in guys, I've left a link in the description of this video as well as the pinned comment. Back to the video. Anyway ladies and gentlemen, let's jump in and... Let's see what, what we're in for here. Ugh. 180! 180! This isn't gonna be nice. Johnny Knox! Him, it's him on the ground. I know it is. I know it is. He went in head first too quick. He's. Oh god. Johnny Knox. Johnny Knox injury what happened? Again. It was Chancellor who knocked the ball loose after the catch, but Anthony Hargrove, number 94, coming in afterwards, he slams oh! head on. Oh, he's and broke. He's broke. Nah. He loses it. the nope. ball. Oh, Watch as he lays out, and then Hargrove going forward at the same time catches him right under the chin and just Johnny. bends his body backwards. Oh, in the direction sh oh my God. That would hurt. That oh, would flip and hurt. Oh, no. What happened? To the 30, a gain of about three. Looks like, like he fell. Reggie Brown, the injured lion, and uh, from the action of coaches and players. Uh... See, this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. All these pads and helmets, they're not going to help you if your body bends backwards. If that, if you bend that way, you're, f you know, I was about to say the F word, but YouTube doesn't like that. But you know what I mean? Here's the injury. 59 is Brown. Oh, no. Helmet it's just the way his helmet goes back into his, his head. Shoulders. It's like it's pushing his neck, it's like crushing his spine almost. Reggie Brown suffered a spinal cord contusion while assisting on a tackle on New York Jets player Adrian Murrow. He received CPR and then emergency surgery to fuse his vertebrae. He was able to walk two days later and now lives a normal life without any paralysis. Reggie Brown, injured. good to see you in good health. That's mental. That is absolutely mental. He's away to the hospital. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Reggie Brown is out of the building. Kaepernick pass is incomplete and no flag is thrown. John Baldwin looked like he had his jersey grabbed by Jabari Greer. And now the knee? I bet, you it's, oh, I bet you it's ligaments in the knee. Bet he's landed flat-footed on the ground from jumping. We're in man coverage underneath, and there's certainly the right hand was on the shoulder. What am I watching, guys? Yep, there's the pull on the oh. jump. And it's Greer who can't get up. They're going to bring out oh. a brace. I can't. My knees no are tingling here. Of Jabari Greer. No. And it's not a pretty picture. The left oh. knee and ankle. No. And so he has not... Uh -huh. get up since. No, he's Here's not going to get up for a while, to be honest. Missed. Baldwin, who oh, has three catches no. this season. I can't deal with this. And now Shit. the Saints defense no. on third down. Kelly tries to hit Russell Copeland in the flat. He's getting Anthony welded. Phillip picks it off. Watch what happens. Kelly makes a great athletic tackle. But unfortunately, this is, you know, watch, I mean, watch carefully here. Anthony Phillips, turn away if you don't want to see this. Phillips' leg snaps. Okay. Clean I can't, tackle. I can't, I can't, I can't. Good play by Kelly, but boy. Broken oh. tibula, fibula. Everyone obviously can turn around. Tibula, fibula, everything's gone. 
Here we go. Second Here half. Here we go. Kicking it off. Hickson is the return man for Denver, and he will field it at the goal line. Left side stumbles a bit, gets up to the 10 to the 15. Hickson meets a quick wall of Buffalo defenders, and he goes down <laughs> at the 21 yard line. Might as well run into the fucking wall. Face down there, too. Like Ever it's done. Now the ambulance has made its way out onto the field, too. So. Boy, this is the worst thing you ever um, want to see anybody have to deal with in a football game. On this to have him. Wait, what the f What happened? Looks like Kevin Everett. Now the ambulance has made its way out onto the Did field. Did he die? Too, so, boy, this is the worst thing you ever want to see anybody. Now, what's going on here? Is everyone just sent a prayer for him? I think I've got a career ended under you doing these reaction videos. Ah! Check down. Stewart. Stewart with a nice move and a first down. Hey, well, Slow to get up is Nick Collins. He's down at the 30 yard line. The, it, it, it seems like everybody who gets injured is always Collins face down, down off his arse. And you see here, Collins. He must have farted in his head. Just hit ah! the upper, the lower. Right now watching this, there's so many head injuries and neck injuries and things happening with people's spines. Right now I've got whiplash. It happened about four weeks ago, and it is still agony every single day. So seeing people get hurt in the neck, in the surrounding area, is cringing me and making me realize that I'm still in pain. I'm not appreciating this. I, I like that they got him out there and showed him, but right now, the way this game's unfolded, I'd like to see, bit, or, uh, see Cobb on the field more. Here is the fullback, the pro bowler last year, Leonard Weaver. What's happened there? One. As you said, give Cobb, and now and Leonard Weaver. It's either the neck or the knee, it seems. And that'll bring Andy Reid out onto the field. Oh, a nasty injury to the left leg of Leonard Weaver. Oh, <laughs> for Leonard Weaver. Really oh God. Oh, God. Also, talking about neck injuries and seeing the injuries, I got knee surgery last year. Oh, I ripped, I torn my meniscus clean off my knee. So seeing knee injuries as well is making me cringe also because that injury right there is what actually happened to me. Um, my, I had my foot planted on the floor during uh, I was playing soccer, football, I call it football, and uh, I was running and I got my knee, I got my foot locked in between the defender's legs and I kind of wrapped around the back of my foot stayed planted on the floor. And seeing this is making me just cringe. Times, averaged over four and a half yards. <sighs> I, I actually heard that. Someone's been clipped. Oh! It was a play that you make a thousand times in a game or during a season, and you hit a guy, and you always expect him to get up. And Stingley just didn't get up. I can't. Tatum's hit turned Stingley, a budding star wide receiver, into a quadriplegic. Even though no flags were thrown on the play and no fines were levied against Tatum, his motives were questioned. Moves down to the 16 yard line, and that sets up Kramer. To Clark again for the touchdown and 11 yards. Like this is relaxing. 14 10 in the fourth. And on the play, offensive lineman Mike Utley suffered a back injury. He was taken to the hospital for x rays. Like, that's just carnage. It's just. Ca it's, there's always going to be someone hurt in that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is it? What is it? I don't believe Lawrence Taylor would have reacted that way unless Feisman. What is it? Downfield with it. Let's take a look at with our reverse angle camera. He's looking deep, but he knows he's in trouble. Lawrence Taylor, number 56, right there. Carson is number 53. But it's Taylor over Carson. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Oh no! Oh, the right it. knee, the right foot. Oh my God! His legs snap. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Well, that was enjoyable. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that at all. Oh my God! Why am I shivering so much? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go ahead and got this far, can you please like the video? I would really appreciate that because. I sat through the entire video, I didn't think I'd do that, I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Oh, nah. If you want me to do any more reactions on NFL, NHL, any sort of sport that you're interested in, or any other video you're interested in, leave a little comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. You know, welcome to the family. It's an absolute treat to, you know, I'm delighted you're here. I really am. So thank you so much. Thanks for all the love. I'm going to go. 
maybe gonna maybe I'll go into the next room and meditate to calm down. Thank you so much. Ham sandwiches for life.